There was a pretty big group in the common room. At first when they told me, I thought they were joking. But then one of them slapped me and they bolted the door. I was asked to strip completely or else I would be stripped. I don't know what I was thinking. I said no. After they stripped me, they made me walk back to my room naked. It was more like running for life. This one's a bit odd. You're asked to drink about 15-20 glasses of water one by one. It must be to prepare you for situations where you have access to nothing else. But then you're also made to vomit it all out, and sometimes even asked to roll on that vomit, naked. Not sure what that has to do with survival. Even before the match, I knew I wasn't in my best form. And then when the team lost because of me, I knew what was coming. First came the blankets and then, well, that made it difficult to figure out what I was being hit with. The voices were familiar, but it's better to blank that out. And then I blacked out. The next day, the coach recognized my bruises. He wished me better luck next time. I'm guessing the whole idea is to sustain the excruciating heat. It's quite simple, really. Strip down to your underwear, lie down on the hot, tarred road. One by one, people stand on you to cover the length of your body. It actually feels like you are being raped, if you know what I mean. Yes, probably meant to prepare us for the heat. It's actually a pot full of, well, shit, human shit. All you want is to get out of there and go wash your face. I mean, what else would possibly be on your mind when you have your face dipped inside a pot full of shit? I think the smell lingers in your mind longer than anything else. And the sound of the flush. You feel like shit. Really, maybe that is the idea. To become one with the shit. I remember being told once that the only way you can remove a deep-seated fear is to jump right into the thick of it. Sure, you might end up with water in your lungs or an unbearable stomach ache. It might even be fatal. In fact, an instructor once said, you could even die crossing a road. That's just fate. So yeah, just jump into the thick of it. Sometimes that jump might have been a push. Hello? Hello, what's wrong, beta? Are, are you called to ask me this at 3 in the morning? Yes, beta. Tell me. Oh, then that's the thing. 
of course beta i do believe you but you can't take every little thing that you hear to heart like this huh? how can you say i don't understand ha huh? main jaanti hu bacche bas karo yaar this are this is nothing beta you are you have much bigger fights ahead of you yaar much tougher ones come on tang kar rahe hain are bacche hi hain thodi chhed khani kar rahe honge jaise tum tang nahi karte kisi ko come on back up toughen up little bit yaar hello dekho ab hum is bare mein koi baat nahi karenge Do you get it? अच्छा ये बताओ पढ़ाई कैसी चल रही है हेलो 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 